Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix an issue with the Google Play Store on Android. And of course, this issue was encountered on a device that I recently was able to fix. And of course, this is just a screen capture to show you screen capture to show you what the error looks like. I reads um, as soon as you try to download any app, it says as seen here, um, can't download whatever the app is name, then the app name will be shown up there. So for example, this one was four picks one word. So it might say another app such as WhatsApp. So it says can't download insert and you'd insert the app name there. It says try again. And if um, it still doesn't work, see common ways to fix. And of course it gives you an option to clear all block and so on. And of course, if you look at the full, if you look at the full error, it should say something like this. It says can't download um, four picks one word or whatever the app name is and then it says try again and if it still doesn't work see common ways to fix the problem and of course this is what the error would look like all right so if you're having um, this particular error or a similar worded error we're going to try the following fix for the google play store now, the first thing i'm going to show you is what worked for the device that i just showed you just now and of course what I did to fix it on that particular Android device was we went to settings. Once we were in settings, let's focus here, we went over to general management. It might be under a different settings for you. Then we went to reset. Do not worry, you will not lose any of your data. And next, I won't do it on this device. What we did was to go to reset network settings. And of course it might ask for your password. You put in your device password. When you place in your um, device password, it will reset your network settings and of course it's related to wi-fi and bluetooth by doing this what it does is to erase any um all um, built up um basic data such as wi-fi passwords and so on you'd have to log back into your wi-fi um for the most part you'll not miss anything at all so just go ahead and do that and once you do that it should fix the issue so that that's what i did with that particular device to fix the error and the error was gone as soon as you went back to download any apps it will download instantly all right Another thing to try guys um, while you're in here, if that didn't work, is to go to reset settings. Now what this will do is reset all settings back to their default. So let's go ahead and choose also um, the reset um, settings to their default. Again, this one will not erase any data, but return settings back to their default. If that um, fail guys, next thing you're gonna try is you're gonna go to settings. Once you're in settings, and this is the second tip, you're gonna um, go to apps. And next you're gonna search for Google Play Store. And the everything is um, arranged alphabetically as usual. So let's go ahead and search for Google Play. As you can see here, this is Google Play right there. So let's go ahead and select Google Play and go to storage. Next, um, you're going to um, clear data and then you're going to clear cache. So by clearing data and clearing cache, what's going to happen is going to erase any built up cache. And of course, this um, in most cases should do it for you. You're going to go ahead and reboot your phone and come back. You might be required to log back into Google Play Store. And as I added um, step, I also recommend that um, you also clear the cache for Google Play services. So just go in, go to storage, do the same, clear cache, clear data. And as I said, you might have to log back into Google um, services as soon as you click on the Google Play Store. All right, if that didn't work, guys, um, you can also clear the cache partition. I have a separate um, video on that. So you can just go ahead and follow those instructions to clear the cache partition of the entire device. All right, by booting into Android Recovery. Um, next, you're gonna update Google Play services. Now, it usually updates automatically, but you can actually prompt um, Google Play to check for updates. So just tap on um, Google Play, tap the dots upper um, left of the screen. Then you go down to settings. And of course, to prompt the check for update, simply tap um, Play Store version. And of course, if you have the latest version, it will just say Google Play Store up to date. But if not, it will just go ahead and say um, it will search for the update and actually start downloading and update it. After the update, you can go back to the Google Play Store and try to download the app you were trying to install before. All right. So that's the fourth main um, thing to try. And of course, another thing you can do, guys, other than um, update the Google Play Store, is try using an internet connection so if you're on mobile data switch to wi-fi if you're on wi-fi switch to another wi-fi network or switch to mobile data all right so that's one of the key things you can do and of course the last tip guys before you um, try anything else check to see if the time and date is wrong so if the time and date is wrong 
it can also mess with the internet connection so it's a good idea to make sure that your time and date is correct so just go into settings and of course find the time and date setting and either set it automatically or adjust it to the correct time so you can always verify if the current time is correct and of course if it is correct you'll be good but of course if it's wrong or way off you'll need to adjust it all right guys we got a cutter from blog tech tips saying bye until next time guys bye